Praise God, brethren. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we bless your name this wonderful morning. Thank you for giving us life. And Lord, almighty an opportunity that we may approach your throne together, learn from you, and be blessed by you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Dear friends, it is exactly 10 days since we started our Daniel fast. And today our psalm theme, and the theme of weight, is obedience. Our verse for today is taken from Psalms number 119, verses 114. Psalms 119, 114. And it says this, You are my refuge and my shield. Your word is my source of help. You are my refuge and my shield. Your word is my source of hope. Obedience is difficult at times and yet necessary in all things of God. We can never achieve anything if we lack true obedience in our lives. Obedience is that which unlocks the heavens to act for us. The Lord promises us great benefits if we obey. If we turn to the Lord in obedience, He desires that. And He promises a lot when we trust Him in obedience. Deuteronomy 28 declares that all these blessings will come upon you if you obey His voice. There are blessings which accompany the obedience of the voice of the Lord. There are blessings that can only be unlocked by obedience. There are, ble there are blessings that we can only receive when we fully give ourselves in obedience to the word of the Lord. Ask God to help you to be obedient. To help me to be obedient. Take away the human characteristics of stubbornness and rebellion and replace it with a humble obedience. And may the Lord do this for us this wonderful morning. That all the stubbornness, all the rebellion, all the human characteristics and flaws that are weighing us down and closing the doors of blessings, that the Lord may take them away. Then pray the rest of the group of scriptures in Deuteronomy 28 in the first person. Make it your own. Make it your own. Say those words in the first person as you mean it. We know very well that when we go before the Lord, He might ask us of much more than what we expected to give, but in return, He will give us much more than what we expected, imagine or even fathom, if we only follow Him in obedience. And this is our prayer for today. I thank you, Lord Almighty, for showing me things in my life that I need to work on, things that may be hidden in my heart and so much a part of my nature that I don't even realize how they have changed me and inhibited me from being all I can be through Christ Jesus. Help me to be humble, obedient, knowing that blessings flow in the life of the child of God who can readily submit to you being Lord in their life. Your word declares, I will be blessed in the city. I will be blessed in the field. My children and all I consider mine will be blessed wherever I go and whatever I will be will be blessed by the Most High. If I keep my eyes on you and let you be Lord in my life, I am forever thankful. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. May the Lord give us the spirit of obedience this wonderful morning. Shalom.